In this video, I got a 2006 Ford Escape. The complaint with this one is all the gauges and the display quit working all at the same time. I guess the only thing that is still working is the airbag light and the blinker. Uh, it looks like this same model of cluster is used in for 2005, 2006, and 2007. Now this is the first one of these I've had apart. Uh, this is my first Ford Escape to another Fords, but uh, this will be a first for me. So I'm gonna dig in and see what I can find. Now with some of the Ford F-150 clusters, you do need to unsolder the LCD screen from the board to remove the board to get to the front side. But with this one, it's surface mount soldered. So you can't just hit it with your uh, desoldering tool to uh, cycle out the solder to get it apart. With this one, you have to hit it with hot air on the underside to release the top half because of the way the uh, screen sits on the plastic like this. So with uh, the Fords, they seem to have an occurring, reoccurring common problem uh, with the, the CPU leads uh, just having poor solder joints. And when you get this up under the microscope, you can actually just go across and give a little push on each each leg and some of the leads will will be loose um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a reflow on this Here I'm just going to add some fresh leaded solder to these LCD points just to make uh, putting it back on with the hot air a little bit easier. So now that I've had a chance to uh, to go through it, disassemble and reassemble, I've got to say this is the one of the more difficult clusters I've had to uh, get into just because of the way that LCD display is sandwiched in the plastic. you got to use hot air to remove it. And on reassembly, the plastic just wasn't quite letting that sit tight enough. I ended up having to hand solder it back together. So just because of that, I have to say uh, this is one of the more difficult ones. Um, hope to never see another one again, but, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.